Hi there, it's Valerie Hall Little, the business architect. Let's talk about decisions. Every day, don't you feel that you're faced with having to make an abundance of decisions? We are faced with so much information that is bombarding us that even something as simple as going out and buying yogurt, plain yogurt, so many brands, so many choices. How, how do you choose and, and which is the right one? And next thing you know, you just leave the grocery store with a bag of chips because it's just easier, right? Uh, anyways, I'm going to help you with what is called decision fatigue. And that is when our willpower is slowly chipped away because we are faced with so many decisions. I call that fractured focus. That is when our ability to focus and make really good, smart decisions is eroded because there's way too much out there, way too many choices, and we just start thinking about it and getting in our heads, and next thing we know, ah, we just stop, right? We just stop, it's easier. So I'm going to talk about three ways that you can battle this decision fatigue. So the first way is prioritize. So to start every day knowing what your number one priority is for the day. And that will help you because you won't have to think about what exactly it is you need to be working on because you'll have already thought about it when you were in a calmer place and you were able to prioritize it before. So it becomes really, really easy to start your day. In fact, I talk to my, most of my clients and I tell them, if you don't know what you're working on before you get to your office, then there's a bit of a disconnect and there's a bit of an issue because what's gonna happen is there's way too many choices and what happens? We go into our inbox and then we start working on other people's priorities. We get bombarded with requests and next thing you know, our whole day has been hijacked. So number one is priority. Set the number one priority, your focus first task for the day that you're going to be working on. All right, number two is deadline. Set a deadline for making that decision. If you don't set a deadline as to when you have to make the decision on whatever it is you're deciding about, then it can go on and on and on. And the more it goes on and on, the more you get into your head and you start thinking about things and things start to whirl and twirl. And next thing you know, the spin cycle has started and then decision fatigue sets in. Your focus has been shattered and you're just you're just gonna reach for that bag of chips, actually. That's what's gonna happen. Number three is all about reducing the number of choices that you are faced with in a day. So what does that mean? That means limiting the number of decisions you have to make on low impact tasks. That could be something as easy as what you're gonna wear today. There are some people that only wear black and white uh, because it makes it easy, right? They can mix and match and it's totally easy. Um, Barack Obama would always wear a white shirt and a blue tie because it reduced the number of choices that he had to make. And he could reserve his brain power and his focus for those big high level decisions that he was faced with every day. So think about how you can reduce the number of choices that you have to make every day. It could be something as easy as what you're going to eat for the week ahead, uh, where you're gonna shop, who you're gonna listen to, sorry, that was my dog, <laughs> who you're gonna listen to um, for uh, information that you receive, where you get your news from, um, uh, you know, all of the inputs that are coming your way. There's way too much information out there. There's way too much information overload. So reduce the number of channels that are coming into you. So those are the three ways that you can reduce decision fatigue every day. Number one is prioritize. Know that number one task that you're gonna work on every day. Number two is set a deadline for making that decision. And number three is reduce the number of decisions that you have to make and keep the high impact decisions on your radar and the low impact decisions get booted right out. 
and make it super easy. So that is your next step this week for designing your business so it's built to soar. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.